So you talked about being pushed out. So I got to hit you on this. Obviously, when you walked in, your name was trending uh, due to some <laughs> a questionable Kanye tweet that went up. You know, I'm not going to get into the specifics of it. No, nah, no. Nah, you, you, you see that white man they put was having sex with Kim? Yeah, Diallo or whoever. Yeah, who the hell is Diallo, man? They had to hide that. Look, they had to, they had to hide my man's half of his face. You think they found another one? No, nah, listen, they tried to say it was uh, um, a friend of the show. You know, you know. They tried to all state. They were trying to use all state or all state. <laughs> state farm. State, state farm. They was trying to use him, but I seen through it. It was the white man above him, and they could have his face. Kanye smart. So, but basically, get the, get, get, yeah, they tried to. But you talk about you know getting blackball, getting pushed out of the league, and, and we hear this thing about the Kardashian curse. Now you dated Khloe Kardashian early on in your career. You had nothing but nice thing to say about Khloe. I went to high school with Khloe. Like she, she's a great person. Yeah. But when you talk about that Kardashian curse and just the the the, the, the larger than lifeness of that family. I want to ask you, do you think the Kardashian curse is real? And if so, how does it manifest itself? <laughs> yeah, like you say, it manifests itself. So it becomes real to those who <laughs> yeah. put themselves in that energy, right? Uh, I was able to get out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to do the T, 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 T. I got out before it was, you know, before it was time to get in. But sometimes you look back and you be like, damn, should I have stayed in? I could have been a real player in this day and age if I had to stay there back then. But then, I, you know, I look and I'm like, I didn't want you know, to go down that Lamar path. That They did put him a different kind of curse on Lamar. Um, you know, is, is that it, was a different one. I don't know if it, anybody can come back from that type of curse. Okay, is it... Like, I, I look at it and I, I'm, I'm like, I don't think it's like a... The, the curse is just, you have, it's like, anyone dating a celebrity, right? Your celebrity is a different celebrity than theirs, right? It's, it's two stars, but it's, it's a different type of stardom. So what ends up happening is they put you in the light that you've never been in before. See, you're in the, we're in TV, we're in TV light. So when we're done, when we're not playing, we're ducking off, right? Right. right. They want the, <laughs> Right. And you like, wait, hold hold on, hold on, shorty, wait, hold and that's on. That's how the, that's the energy. That was the energy <laughs> yeah. for me. Yeah, like wait, hold on, wait. That was. That was that was really the energy. But before that, it was like they needed that energy. They needed that energy to have a reason to have that energy, right? So for me, Reggie stepped in after Ray J. But he wasn't around to be in that light like that. Mm -hmm. So she literally seen me as the person that could bring light to her. Mm -hmm. And that was an opportunity for us to like kind of grow together. But I was already him. I was the guy that playing and, and trying to get my next level contract. And so for her to have that as a, an NBA player that she's talking to, took it to a whole new level of attention, mm -hmm. right? And so small market, you got to look at the, the details of it, right? The details is I'm playing in Minnesota. I'm on OK Magazine and Cosmopolitan. I'm going to events with her in LA, and this is summertime, right before my contract year. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go into my contract year, summertime, I'm with a Kardashian all over the place. I get into training camp, everybody feels some type of way. Can you feel it? I can feel it. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, it's so bad. So only a certain amount of guys in the league can understand what I'm even talking about right now. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, you're dating somebody that is popular, hasn't blown up crazy yet, but they in the, they there, they sizzling. Mm -hmm. And here I come in the magazine next to her on the red carpets and I'm getting the referees while we in preseason telling me, hey, McCann's, huh? I'm oh, watching, watching, watching the Kardashians last night. I see you on TV, man. What you doing? Man, you gonna give me some calls tonight or what? You, mm -hmm. you missed three calls in a row. <laughs> you talking about the, the, the show. Uh -huh. Then you, you see things that happen with, with management and how you know, their their families are lovers of the Kardashians, and you got the owner's daughter, the owner's wife, and the coach's wife. Everybody's tuning in, so I had everything against me when it came to, you know, not being a prima donna. It made it look like that, regardless, yeah. just because I'm constantly in mm -hmm. the, in their faces, like boom, boom, boom. Then she's coming to Minnesota, so they gotta see her in the That's streets true. too. Mm -hmm. So now she at the games. And they like, who you, who, who, 
T Mac, like, who the Kardashian girl here with? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> he looked around at all of the players on all the team. Players. <laughs> yeah, you got to try to figure out who's it's like. Man, she with you, yeah, man. You, you see the icon tag in there. These niggas ugly. All these niggas ugly. They, nah, <laughs> she ain't with none of them. Like you saw, she with you. That's how we do it, though. We saw we look like, okay, who's she on? Who's she in? with? So, yeah, you see that during the game going on? You're like, wait Yes, we who, look. Who, we who, like, oh. Who's she with? Rihanna. Who? <laughs> Not me. He, nah, she oh, here for you, me. So you be sitting there like, ah. Baby. Jay on Jay on But that's the problem. The hate, the hate, the hate comes from a place of not understanding and a place of you're, you're in a whole nother light than you should be in when you already in the light. I'm on ESPN, I'm on TV, I'm famous. Everywhere I go, you see me, right? They're okay with that light. Cool. They're okay with Gilbert Arenas in the NBA, and we got him on TNT, and he's playing on Christmas. And we, that seems okay. You in the summer, you're still famous? No way. You're on TV? And it ain't nothing. You're in Monaco? You're in Monaco with a Kardashian on the boat? How dare you? Like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm famous. I'm famous anyway. What are you talking about? I'm him. Do you know when we play on TV 82 games? What do you do? You forget that we they. But the that's the, but they, Don't they, y'all know I got a home. I got my own thing. But and that's what that's what it was. You were famous without them. Oh man. So do you think that the question is your loyalty? I mean, you said it cost you 60, 70 million. And is it from a standpoint, oh, you're not working hard enough because you're dating a Kardashian? Or we watch the reality. I think a lot of people, and this is the shit, my brother was on a reality show called Baldwin Hills. And literally people in real life would think that the shit that was going on in the show was like the camera just happened to be there to catch it right at that exact moment. And you have to explain to them, like, no, this shit is scripted. Like, they created this situation mm-hmm. for the drama. It's just a three-act structure. We had to build it yes, up. I mean, they, they, they know that now. They didn't know that then. Because it'd be like, oh, man, I seen on the show you did this or that. And it's just like, what are you talking about? Like, that shit's not real. That was for the show. They still dumb about it. So, they still dumb about yeah, it. They, so. still, they still like, um, you did that. To, I'm like, girl, listen, listen, girl. <laughs> like, you gotta do listen, girl, listen, listen. <laughs> Listen, they set the whole thing yeah, up. I mean, yeah. they, you know, it was she faked like she went into and they, they had the million dollar jewelry come in and <laughs> they made it all up, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, you're arguing now. And I'm, you know, I'm like, and another one. They don't want to get in there. Uh, another one walking out the door. He said, I'm losing it girl. Real. It wasn't he said, I'm real. I'm losing girlfriends today yeah, because today of that. Today, I got to talk. Shit. So you dated a Kardashian, huh? It's yeah. like, not for real. It wasn't really real. <laughs> like it, we, we set it up. Like it was literally a setup. Like we set it up. She There's a crew there. She called me and was like, "Look, E want to do a show with us, the Chloe Lamar show. That was my show." I said no. Mm-hmm. Right. So oh, before Lamar got me and Lamar had the same agent. Nobody know these stories. That's right? why you come on no chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me and Lamar had the same know. agent, right? And my agent kept telling me not to do certain shit with Chloe and that she was ruined, she was gonna ruin my career and all this stuff. Jeff Schwartz, XL Sports. Jeff Schwartz, XL Sports <laughs> was my agent. And uh, he was telling me, you know, you might need to get rid of Chloe. And I'm like, why you keep saying this? Woo, woo, woo. I'm not knowing nothing about Lamar's situation. Mm-hmm. I ended up breaking up with Chloe because we shot the pilot of, of the, the show she wanted to do. But this is when Facebook just started, 2009 and uh, signed on and had my relationship, it's complicated. <laughs> TMZ and uh, Media Takeout got it right away. They posted that shit right away. She hit me up. We're on the way to the studio to film some stuff. And she's like, can we talk to you outside? And um, I'm like, what's up? She's like, um, did you post this today? And I look and it's a whole Media Takeout blur. Uh, Khloe Kardashian's new ex-boyfriend says that the relationship is, is, is complicated. And she's like, oh, my family has to answer to this and all of this. Like, you have to tell me before you post. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to tell you before I post shit? My family ain't got to answer to nothing. You know what? I'm cool. I got too many. I got too many bitches right now. I got too many. I mean, I got too many. I got too many, man. I'm not about to be doing this. So we ended up, you know, we ended up just just ending it, you know what I'm saying? But keeping, keeping the friendship alive. But... Like you said, it's like sometimes it's too much, like that attention and it, and it can get misconstrued because 
it did mess up my contract. It did have Kevin McHale asking me about my relationship while I was in the league with her. Like, what's up with this? Kev, yeah, what's up with you? Is that why I played seven minutes last night, bro? Oh, 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 oh brother. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 what? All right, man. That, this all right, man? Yep. That got me like 16 DMPs, 16 straight games DMPs. Hey, man. All right, man, whatever, man. Sorry, you need to get some sleep, man. I heard you was in Vegas. Yeah, I was with my girlfriend and her family. We had the day off, right? <laughs> hey, what's up? Well, you, you might need to get some, man, well, all right, man. DMPs. Man. DMP, what you asking me about my girl for? Well, I'm getting, I'm getting voicemails. I'm getting voicemails and things like that. Tell them, you're telling me you. It just, it just, it just, it doesn't. When you think about it in reality, no matter who the girl is, it's supposed to be normal, right? I have a wife. Me and my wife went to Vegas. We had a day off. That's cool, right? But if I go with the superstar and that makes headlines, it's bad. It's like, it's like they want to control the narrative on something that they can't control anyway. Right. Right? Right. They'd rather you be Dennis Rodman partying all night. They, they, that's fine. Come on, man. I'm on the flight before, before it even turns but you, midnight. But you with a, a girl that's famous, they figure, it seems like they think there's more information that's going to be given out about you. Yep. And it's, it's like, it's like, it's, it's this weird thing because just NBA players, period. We're probably, when it comes to media, we dodge media the most. Oh, yeah. You don't really, <laughs> if you think about in this social world, what's up with Kawhi Leonard? You don't know. What's up with Clay? You don't know. What's up with Curry? You, Kevin Durant, like, job ja, outside, outside of that tube, yeah, you don't know their life because that's when they're, they're ducking and hiding. Mm-hmm. So when you date someone that puts more light on you, it seems like it irritates them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they hate it. Yeah, it just, it's weird. It's just a weird thing. I found it to be the weirdest thing because of the age I was at, 21, 22. I had grown men afraid to talk to me, you know, tell me how they really felt about the situation <laughs> so that we can really get, a, you know, so, let's, let's solve it, uh-huh. right? What is it that you don't like about me dating this white girl? Because mm-hmm. we in Minnesota, mm-hmm. all right? And That's what I was going to ask you. Hey, 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 we're going to talk about it. it. We're going to talk about it. But uh, Kevin McHale ain't no Saint, <laughs> we know what he played. We know what he, what kind of energy he's on. Mm-hmm. So when he heard that, that's what kind of energy I felt. Was like, what's up? You mad I'm dating the white girl? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You can't be that mad that yeah. you don't want to play me when you got Rodney Carney playing over me, bro, and Corey Brewer. <laughs> You're just hearing these things. What? Yeah. What's going on? You're not telling me nothing. Hey, Jeff. You gotta do something. This is my contract year. They're not even showcasing me, bro. I'm like, I'm getting DMPs. You know, when we get on the plane, we read the box score. If you're trying to see who hooping and who not. Yeah. Sha just came off 15 a game last year. He should be getting in the 20s right now. Yeah. He should be hooping. He not even playing. He must be in the doghouse. Doghouse. He in the doghouse. <laughs> and ain't nobody know no answer. So where he at? No, we don't got the key. We don't know when he gonna get out. But when we see him on the floor, we like, he must have got out. Yo, <laughs> hey, yo, he must have got that, out. That's <laughs> the really, but we all know that. That the dog. Yeah. Did you ever hear a story about USA basketball with Carmelo? No. See, only only Carmelo could have pulled it off back then. So you know how it was uh who was the coach? Larry Brown? Yep. So 04? 04. Okay, yeah, yeah. Y'all don't remember. Y'all remember. Day, y'all remember. If y'all go back and LeBron, Carmelo, and them wasn't really playing, right? Carmelo be in the back of the bus. Now, they, I'm locked up. They won't let me out. <laughs> they won't let me out. I'm locked up. Like, he'd be singing that in the back of the bus. Mad because they ain't playing them. But he's the future right. face, so they wouldn't do nothing. Him, LeBron, yeah, oh, yeah, they was in the back. Oh, yeah, they was in the back. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, Larry Brown hated them. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, but this Larry Brown, the UNC guy, man. But, like, they all got that energy. Him, George Carl. But, but why you think the next one, they got rid of him? They had to. Because them young boys were like, nah, that man didn't play us well, nah. But if you look at, look at all the articles back then, you would have thought, like, Yo, they gonna blackball young fella. He was like, man, I don't know. 
we didn't lose. I ain't play. They ain't play me. That's how they. That Man. was the energy they was on. Now I don't know. They ain't play me, so I don't know what the. I don't know what the USA team did. But you think about Melo though, when he became Olympic Melo after that, uh-huh. he wasn't playing them. But then every time he showed up to the 08, like he came back in 08. Oh, he was. He was 06. Melo. 06. 06. 08. Yeah. But those was two. That, but that was the reason. Is because. Larry Brown didn't play his them young boys. Them young boys feel like, yo, this is they slow. Let us yeah. put us out there. We got this. You know, Dwayne Wade, put us out there. And Brown wasn't that. That man they used to he used to sing that song in the back every game. Bro, I got cut. <laughs> I got cut from the USA 19 and under team because of that right there. That reason. Didn't you didn't you try didn't you go didn't they didn't pick you up on the team, right? No, I was there 06. I was there 06. And then you were supposed to go L- 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 No, I got, hurt, I got hurt in 07, but 06, they basically was telling me, um, I'm a, they, listen, they didn't, they, I don't know if they were cutting me. I was on some humble shit. That was, <laughs> I remember, I remember this is the that shit too. I was mad about. Humble Gill? I, I was on Humble yeah, Gill. He was, I so remember. I'm going to tell you, it was 4th of July, it was like 4th of July or something. I called um, Coach K, I said, hey, Coach K, this is Gilbert Arenas. They just gave me a number, you know, um, I can't wait for tryouts, you know, whatever you need, you know, I'm not coming in there with my, my ego, you know, whatever the, whatever USA, you know what I'm yeah. saying, all that corporate all shit, that. whatever the that. team, you know, take charge, I'm, I'm, I'm your guy, you know, you don't have to worry about my ego, right? So, you know, make, make the squad, we, we in, we in Korea, and I remember we're at the, um, we're at a base, we got the full, we got the full, uh, the army outfit on, right? It was so hot in there. Like, I feel like Vince Carter. Boosie's on one bow, like, dirt. Like, I mean, like, I never got this hot before. Like, I, ooh. Right, I'm like, I'm really, like, up there, right? And I and I got a little growing, so I feel like, ooh, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm doing something oh, I don't supposed to be doing. doing so much. after it, after it all, I said, hey, um, I think I pulled my growing. And, you know, um, I don't know how long this is going to be. You know, I'm already, I'm thinking about, look, I just made two, two all-stars. You know, I'm not going to f- around here and then miss the season. So I said, listen, I don't want to hold, I don't want to hold up a spot, you know, for somebody that's on the, uh, that's trying to make this team. Yep. If I'm going to be, I don't want to hold nobody's spot up. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. You was on the bubble anyway. Coach <laughs> K. No, nah, this is Colangelo. I'm on the oh, bubble. Like, I'm in on the bubble. How? Oh, my Lord. Who? I got Brad Miller. No offense. I got, uh, <laughs> I love the no offense. No offense. <laughs> you know, I had uh, Kirk Heinrich, Bruce Bowen. They love Kirk. Um, Duke, Mr. Duke. Shane Batty. Yep, I got Duke. four people on there, right? I'm the... I'm one of three all NBA players, two time all NBA players on the team. Yeah. So it's me, LeBron, and Dwayne Wade, two time all star players. Like, so I'm, I'm, I'm one of the three that should be cocky around this. And you tell me I'm on the bubble? 100%. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, bro. I'm, <laughs> oof. You're talking about hating a man. Oh, oh. It's still beef? Beef forever? Y'all just need to know. Because I need to know when I'm in the streets how I need to move. Listen, I could have ru- I could have really ruined my relationship with with I could have been this guy. I did an article. You remember the article I said I'm gonna drop 50 on on um, the tr- I mean um, Blazers and Suns when I did the little Tupac rant that everyone's like, oh he dropped 50. He said he's gonna drop 50. Part of that rant, I said the way that. Coaching that college coach coaching, they not winning the goal. They are not winning the goal. I guarantee they won't win the goal because he has all of his uh, slashers in one unit and all of his shooters in the second unit instead of mixing them up because they're clashing against each other, right? I guarantee they won't win the goal, right? Did the article. Mm. I called Dave. You know what, Dave? Just erased it. They're not going to win gold part and all that because I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy, and just in case I'm wrong, I don't want to be that guy. Damn. Right? Hung up. He said, "All right, I got you. I erase it out." Like four, five in the morning, whatever they played. He's like, "Yo, you were right." I said, "Right about what? They didn't win the goal. They just lost." Mm. Put that shit back in. <laughs> no, I dodged a bullet. 
No, because the article, the article, but I dodged the bullet because I didn't want to be the guy who said it and, like, my chances of ever trying to play on that team again, like, right. that's unfortunate. You know, even though I already f***ed that up because I said I'm scoring 50 against you two and I already did that. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you know, going again, but that was, you know, that was a, an American, like, go against America type of tweet. You say, I guarantee they won't get gold because he can't coach. So I, I was like, let me take that out. I don't want that in fine print. It's easy for me to say that now because I can be like, I oh, was just bullshit. But just to, go, to go back to what you were saying, though, like with the like Carmelo thing with the USA basketball and what you went through, like they, it's almost like a culture thing because they was promoting the Detroit Pistons ways of basketball, right? And so it was like team over talent, right? Ooh. And I came in, I came in on my Kobe shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm, we know, we, this is a junior year, going into the junior year, um, college, so I'm number one yeah. overall. I'm shooting that thing from Bangladesh every time. <laughs> every drill, every everything, it ain't nothing normal I'm doing. Uh-huh. I'm every, so just swaggy, all that. And it's like, hands down, he looks like he's about to do some Kobe type shit, right? Uh-huh. And we out there, and I know how to play Detroit Piston ball. Mm-hmm. I'm literally just with them hanging with Uncle Wes and all of that stuff like during the, my sophomore summer. So I knew what that team chemistry was, what Larry Brown was all about, how they took it from there to there. So it's like, all right, I, I got that, but look, I know what y'all really want to see. Y'all want to see potential. <laughs> y'all want to see if, if this is the guy you want to bet behind. Like, I, I know you want to see that. And I'm out here against all the top guys. Uh-huh. And I'm about to cook everybody. So mm-hmm. I get to cooking and chefing, and next thing you know, the coaches start like stopping, you know, stopping the, the, the practices and, and doubling down on like trying to stack the odds against me. Hey. And I, I, I found it to be, I'm like, the audacity, coach. You don't think I could beat? Come on, man, put it up. Check it up. Let's go. And we we'll win and we we'll win. So just like you, like, I had this little uh, fiber t- uh, like tear in my knee, like in my little patella. And it wasn't nothing to stop me from playing, but I was thinking ahead. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to risk the season because Raymond was supposed to play, but he didn't because he didn't want to get hurt. So he was like, me and Sean went anyway. But I'm thinking in my head, like, don't go too because you might get hurt. Mm-hmm. And I ended up feeling this. And I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have never came. So now I'm kind of like in prima donna mode, kind of like, All right, I mean, because Kelvin Sampson called me and CP, like, y'all going to be the captains, and uh-huh. we want y'all. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting cut. Uh-huh. Ain't no way I'm getting cut. <laughs> and the same conversation you had with Colangelo talking about you on the bubble, uh-huh. Sean Ford came out, I was like, hey, man, you all right, man? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm about to go to the room. You eat with the team. Oh, man, y'all ate all the appetizers, man. Y'all ain't letting, mm-hmm. letting nobody order nothing. Y'all just got the pre-order. I uh-huh. want I'm a vegan. Uh-huh. I want to. I want to order a salad or something. Uh-huh. You ain't got no salads. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, man. Uh, I just went to a little little spot down the street. Uh, he's like, well, I hope you're not trying to trying to get yourself cut. Damn, Sean. What, what, what? <laughs> you, know, you straighten up after that. It's like <laughs> you feel the home ticket. You like the ticket they about to hand you. Like you going home. I'm like, ooh, I don't, I don't like that feeling. What you talking about, man? No, oh, you know, you just. You, you didn't get to practice today. You, you sore knee. We don't want to hold up the spot. I'm like, I understand that, but I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna put some ice on it. <laughs> put some ice on. I should be good. And then they had the exit meetings, and I got one of this like second or third call. We all in the in the room playing a uh, boo ray, uh-huh. playing the boo ray, and shot. They want to see you in the office. <laughs> all right, get in there. It has nothing to do with your talent. So what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're gonna go with the guys who, who, who focus on more of our team concept. So we was in, the, we was in a, um, a film session and we was comparing Detroit film compared to Lakers film in that Lakers Detroit championship when, go for. when they won. And they showed Kobe going doing his thing. Pause it. This is not how we want to play. But he's saying it to the room, but he's looking at me. <laughs> right, I'm like, what? CP sitting right next to me. We both look at each other, we look at him. CP put his head down, and I'm like, man, okay, that's one. Uh-huh. Play the Detroit Piston clip. Swing, 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 huh? Tayshawn hit the three, boom, pause it. This is how we want to play. 
Uh, I knew it was up there, you know. So when I got the meeting and they said what they said, it was like, all right, I get it. I got to clean up my, I got to clean up my game. And that was when accountability came in. Like, mm-hmm. okay, I must have showed them a little bit too much of the, of the league shit. And uh, let's uh, pass, pass, and play, play beyond and, and, and inside the team. So I took that and took it into my championship year. Like, that's how I'm going to approach the year. I'm going to approach the year less shot attempts, less threes, more passes, more assists. I decreased my scoring. Yeah, my six. Like 16 that year, right? Man, like I that. took a lot of less shots just to, do, to please these. They, they was haters. A lot of hating that on my team that <laughs> but, that I had to please in order but, to But that's, to that, that. that's, the, that's the fucking part about it because it's like they don't think that a score is good enough, <laughs> smart enough mm-hmm. to dial this game down for the betterment. Come on, man. Like, Easy. You don't think I can do it? Like, that's, you just challenged me. Now I want to do it. But you don't even, but that's, that's it. you don't even give me a chance to do it. That's, mm-hmm. that's the part that actually hurts. Like, you, you're, like, I, I appreciate that you're concerned. Yes. <laughs> but, but now I know that you want to play like this. Okay, give me a chance and don't come me and say, oh, uh, you don't play the way we want you. Well, you didn't tell me which way you wanted to play. I'm just playing the way I play. But if you want me to go out there and have 10 assists and do this, I can do that. Just let me know. Talk to me, <laughs> grown-ass coach. <laughs> like, this, it's just like, yo, like, I think when Kobe got on the team, we all assumed Kobe was going to be Kobe. Exactly. But he's smart enough to understand, I don't need to be this Kobe for this team. No. I can just dial it down, bring in a little bit of Mamba when I need to. Other than that, this is, this is how we're going to play. We're going to play as a group. We all want to win. No. Collectively, we get on the floor to win. But that's... We ain't but let these young dudes go because I got to go win these NBA championships. But they don't... They, but they don't, what I'm saying is they don't... They don't they're not smart enough to understand that a great player knows how to dial it down for the betterment of the team, and then you do it win a championship. Man. <laughs> and it was the easiest thing to do because it's like I, I took the pressure off myself by just allowing myself to share it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it here. I know this plays for me, and I can shoot this. I, this is in my sleep, but I know this extra pass to this guy who never gets a shot. He's been, he been working on this shot. Mm-hmm. Let's see if he can hit that. Hey, bro, look, you got two chances. Yep. Yeah. You got two chances. I'll give you two. You make one, I get back. I'm, I'm, I got confidence, but you make both of them, boy. We're not throwing it over. I ain't gonna no see you next time. <laughs> we're not it but, they, but that's but that's 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 always been my issue with media outside noise. When they say, "Man, you're too selfish. You need to give it to your teammates," and it's like, if you if you seen us in practice, you would be doing the same thing I'm doing. Like he came in, we practice at 11. He came in 10:55. Mm. Like practice was over 12 o'clock. He left at 12:01. Mm. And he no took, shower. And he took shower pill. No, shower yeah, pill. And, and I said, in, in mm. practice, he took a whole six shots. <laughs> and do you think he's coming back tonight? Nope. Man. And you want me to pass him the ball in crunch time? But why is it that the media don't highlight the fact that we the only ones that got the stories of what happens behind the scenes? Like that story of I was there at nine. I already got a two hour workout in before the practice and I got my ice on my knees just to just get it, get the, get the, get the feeling back when it's time to go back to practice. But I got the energy because this is what I'm doing for a living. Like I'm not, there is no other priority after this, right? So I take it that serious that I'm in here watching film from two games ago while y'all still at practice getting ready to go. You just not showing up to the arena. Mm-hmm. So now when we get done with practice, you so quick to get your shots up and get out. You ain't really getting shots up. You ain't, you ain't, got, re- you, you ain't got better today. <laughs> nope. So how many guys can really say I got better today when they out there just talking? And you see a lot of it in the NBA yeah. now. It's just a bunch of talking for the cameras. Y'all ain't telling the real stories about what really be going. Even these podcasts, it'd be like, yo, why they don't have real guys on here telling the real stories about what's really going on? Because most of the people in the podcast was in the gym by themselves or they wasn't in the gym at all in a sense to get better. See, so that, that's a thing, too, where it's like, like when I, when I, t- when, when I talk in the podcast, I talk from a, sh- a selfish standpoint mm-hmm. because I'm in a gym three times a day. No one's in there. Why the f- 
come up passing the ball. So I'm proud. I'm proud of my selfishness yes. because I deserved it. See, I think, I think the world, fans, media, I think they assume we all do exactly the same. Oh my Lord. I think we all, two hour practice, I think they assume everyone comes in an hour before, right? Everyone stays an hour after. So they all practice about four hours together. I think in their reality, they think that's how it is. Not realizing the reason that I'm not passing him the ball is because I spend eight hours to his 30 minutes, mm. eight hours after practice. I watch film, I do video, I ask coaches the questions, I, I scout my other player. I didn't go to the club last night, I do not drink. The reason y'all are not taking in that consideration. So when I say, yeah, I'm not passing him the ball because he, he just got, he just got here. He smells like N and J, <laughs> used condoms. <laughs> Right? Strippers from last night, and you want me to give him the ball. Is that what we're, is that what, you want me to pass the ball to mediocre and people who are lazy? Why, no. Why he mad at you? <laughs> why is he so mad at you, Gilbert? Why he look, why is he telling everybody in the locker room, Gilbert, man? <laughs> he, don't, he be looking me off. Yep. And then no one gives him the accountability. Do you know why Gilbert don't? with you, bro? Mm -hmm. Do you know why y'all should be with each other, but he don't with you? Because you only spend 30 minutes Man. a game on your game. You only use this much time on your game. You got so much potential. He's disappointed in you. He don't want to rock with you. He don't want to pass you the ball. Why? Why would I do that? Yeah. But you mad at me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys, when you got that winning spirit and you know that that's what you're all about, and you come in with that, like, yeah, y'all ready to get, get better today? Yeah, we trying to get better. You, you feel that energy of them niggas like, man, man here you go, man. <laughs> That's it, here you go. Oh, here you oh, go, go with that, man. Martin yeah. Luther King. <laughs> and, and, you, and you can see it in them. You be like, that's why I don't really rock but, with y'all. Yeah, and and y'all be mad at me. It's like, y'all tell people y'all don't rock with me, but that be the difference it'd be, with the it'd world. Be, it be the opposite, though. I don't rock with y'all. Yeah. Ain't nobody out there can say that I'm a foul individual. I'm this, I'm that. You don't know me you don't know me I'm, I'm the greatest ever when it comes to just people and communication and being real and transparent I'm gonna hold you on your uh, hey and what that, you say yeah. stand on that bro because yeah. I'm gonna stand on it a lot of people don't want to deal with that no shit, but because we're, we're, we're it's it's that's what I said it's one of those things where it's like when you when you when you see the great Kobe and how he worked right everyone who who he clashed with is just lazy people man and you know that. They're just lazy. We know that as hoopers. Like, like, how can you really be mad as a hooper if a man says, you're supposed to be the best ever? Come on, man. You're, you're supposed to be the best ever. You lazy as hell. You lazy as hell. Yeah, you, you average 20 or something because you're God gifted, but you had no work ethic. You don't want it. You know, but who's wrong here? <laughs> the one who's saying you should be the best ever. Or the one who's sitting there lazy, like, I, what, I, I'm already averaging 30, what, I give a hmm. So when, you, when, when Kobe say, I'm not the selfish one, he's selfish for not, for not tapping into his real ability. Man, I come in this gym, five o'clock, seven o'clock, nine o'clock, one o'clock, that, that's, I'm, I'm using, I'm working like, this is a nine to five. Yep. I, wor I work on my craft like a nine to five, not a one to three. Hmm. But, you know, but the, the nine to five becomes a selfish person. But if we took this and put it into reality, real world, and said, all right, as a group, we have a, a school project, right? We have a school project. Everyone puts into their work. You got one person that stayed up, did all the hours, right? They put all the hours into it because that's how detailed. You already got that, that A student that's detailed. You put 30 minutes in. And then they say, all right, everyone gets an A. Who's pissed off? The one that put all them hours in. Like, wait a minute, wait, hold on. We, we all get the same grade? Mm. What do you mean? Wait, ho whew, wait, hold on. He just, I just added his name on it. Man. He don't even know, he don't even know nothing about this presentation. Well, and that's more, what the NBA is this. about. That's more or less this, though. Y'all not going to give me a little bit more appreciation, appreciation for it? Like, okay, look, we all got an A. 
All right, high five. All right, all right, look, look, look. Y'all got y'all gonna pay me? Somebody else, y'all yeah. owe something. Something. Because all I did is, but that's what I'm saying. You got one guy carrying it all, and then if something happens, who they looking at? The, the, the guy who just, you just put my name on it like, uh, we didn't get A. What, what'd you do? What'd you do wrong? <laughs> what'd you do to <laughs> wrong? What'd you do? What did you do wrong? Because oh, I didn't get an A. We should have worked harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have worked uh, harder, but that's, man. The, but that's the same thing in sports, that you, you're, tell, you're trying to tell these guys that, that put all this dedication in to trust people that they're around 24-7. And all you're watching is fair. All you're watching is the game in real time. But there's a reason they're not passing it. They don't trust these people. They don't I, trust their work ethic. I ask y'all a question though. Is that, is that a product of mentality though? Is that the mentality of just a great player knowing that he has to put in that extra work? I call it like, you know, the goats versus the civilians. When you a civilian, you don't have a mentality to go and work the extra, 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 extra mile and match it with your potential. Mm -hmm. Your potential, your, the, the potentiality that you can go to greater heights comes with seeing those results, seeing that I went from a 25 inch vert to a 35 inch vert. That's potential now. I can see that I can put more work into this mm -hmm. and now I can add a game to this and I can take it another level. As a civilian, they don't see no, they, they, they only see the limit. Like, I'm gonna only go this far. Like, if you only been in the hood, you're only gonna leave the block. Mm -hmm. You're never gonna get out the city. You're never gonna see what's really out there. But those who see beyond that, you see in their game that they didn't, they didn't lock their game up with the, the, the confinement of a coach saying, I only want you to do between the legs, between the legs, come off the pick and roll. Mm -hmm. John Morant, like, no, 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 I'm about to do between the legs, spin, Iverson uh, move, and throw the Gilbert around my head, and uh, whatever. Like, that's just him being a creator compared to confining his game. That's, that's just like saying, why would you want to be the smartest person in the world? If you could be the richest? No. Think about it, if you're the smartest person in the world, to everyone else, you sound dumb. Nobody relates to you. Nobody relates to you. You're like, y'all are, y'all are stupid. All of them are like, this is stupid. You, you, <laughs> use the idiot. You use the idiot, you know what I mean? Because they can't, but that's the same thing as a, a this, 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 this one-off guy. The rest of them who do not identify with him, you're a try hard. You, you just, why does he care so much? Oh, man, it's this guy, this guy. Man, you know what I mean? This and, guy. And he's looking down there like, yo, y'all all can be up here, but y'all just put some work at, at there. But, that, but that's why there's 1%. That's what, yeah. that's what makes the ghost great. Rashad, we appreciate you pulling up, man. This was a, a great conversation. This has been another episode of No Chill with Gilbert Arenas. We'll be back with more very soon.